Shipping discs can be easy and fun, and again, if you take care of your disc and ship them out properly, people are gonna come to you for a long time to get their discs. Let's do it. What up, peeps? We got everything we need here in order to ship a disc off. We're gonna go through the checklist first. And what you need, there's a few extra things you can add on there, it's optional, but I think those four are what's gonna be most essential when you're trying to sell your disc online, either Facebook or eBay or any other number of places. We all like buying discs, and there's never been, you know, any formally written down way of how to do things but I can tell you this if you buy a disc you would appreciate it if a certain number of these things were taken into consideration I know I am as a consumer so the way I like to package and sell a disc is to first get the disc this one came in its own plastic bag so I'm gonna leave it in that and I'm also gonna put it into mine why because it's fit and finished and that's how I do things. I like to do certain things a certain way. And for me, this is the best way to keep it going. So I put both in here, okay? Now, because I also have a business and I like to promote the company and I have some little things that I buy here and there for giveaways, I like to add those to the purchase. So I throw in, you know, just a little bit of swag. I got some stickers, I've got some candy. Candy is rad, don't underestimate the candy peeps. It's a candy. I can feel it when you walk. Even when you talk, it takes over me. People love that. I got a little wristband and I give a business card so they can get in contact with me. So all of that is also going to go into the shipment of my disc. Just because I'm a peculiar person, I don't know why, but for some reason, I like to zip it up most of the way and then uh, suck the air out of the bag so it's a tight fit. It's in there tight, it's not going anywhere. This particular disc that I just sold, sold for a decent amount of money, so to put the extra, uh, what, four cents in on a bag cost and a couple goodies, these things are, you know, gonna be very detrimental to how you sell and they help you get your name out for when you do good things and sell the way people like to buy them. People remember that and they tell others like, hey, this guy sells things like it should be sold. Next thing I did was cut out a piece of cardboard. I happen to work for a place where I get lots of cardboard all the time and they throw it away so it's easy for me to grab it. Here's my bubble poly mailer. The reason I get it bigger, 9.5 by 14.5, is because sometimes people buy more than one disc. I also happen to sell t-shirts and, and things of that nature either, and these, having a bigger size mailer is easier just to fold it over whatever you're not using than it is to try to get a whole a bigger one later. So using the bigger ones works perfect for me. So I take the disc, I've wrapped it up and put my goodies in. I've now secured it with a cardboard backing. I'm gonna slide it into said envelope. Not that this makes a big deal, but I have the um, cardboard always facing uh, where the, the sticky side of the envelope is gonna be on. Um, why? Because I can fold it right over on the cardboard and it's a nice even fold. Nothing too crazy, but look at that. It's Now it's nice and secured. I fold it over right at the cardboard. You can see the line that it gets, that it gets created because of it. I take my self little sticker off of it. And here's another key part to the, to the ingredient. Pull that bubble miller tight. Make sure it's on there, then stick it on. Why? Because now everything's fit and secure. Okay, big important thing not to forget is writing. Do not bend. I do this on both sides. The back side I go a little bit bigger because I know there's not going to be any type of self-adhesive mailing address thingy on there, so I might as well just go a little bit bigger. Do not bend. Then, I have an account with stamps.com. You may have a better way to go about it or how to pay for your stamps, but for me, personally, I use stamps.com. I'm then going to check the weight of the disc after it's been packed and secured. This one says 9.48, so I round it up to 10. I'm all done there. 
and once I print my label, my package is ready to go. Make sure the number one rule to always keep in mind is pack something and ship something the way you would want to receive it. It doesn't matter if it's a giveaway, a $5 disc, or a $500 disc. I take care for each and every single disc that I ship out, and I ship them out the exact same way. That way I'm never any reason to, to have anybody say anything negatively. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. You might be interested in selling a disc or buying a disc. Either way, I recommend going to the Dollar Disc Golf Auctions on Facebook. That's a great group. Be sure to visit the Disc Golf Buyer Feedback Group and find out if the person you're trying to buy a disc from online is reliable or not. Great group. Thanks so much for watching our videos. We really appreciate you being here. If you're interested in supporting our channel, please support us by using our sponsors. If you're looking for a rare or hard to find disc, go to throwjo.com, put in our coupon code TuckForce1 and get $5 off your purchase. Also, if you're looking for some rad glasses, blenderseyewear.com, put in our coupon code and get 20% off of your purchases. Thanks so much for watching these videos. We appreciate you guys sticking around. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.